If you've ever played Fallout 4 before, you'll probably know what I mean when I say that everything in this game kind of has a layer of crust to it. And most of that's by design. There's trash everywhere, all the consumables damage you, and 80% of the game's color palette is shades of brown. All these dirty, stinky little details serve to set the mood of a post-apocalyptic wasteland and extend even to the Commonwealth's residents. Which brings us to our hero, Joe Joman, the crustiest scaver around on a quest to destroy Liberty Prime and the Robot Menace. Now, Joe's no stranger to dirt, and has often been described as filthy and evoking feelings of, ew, gross. But this isn't really by choice. Clean water can be hard to come by, which is why we decided to change that by installing a water purifier at Joe's new home on Nordhagen Beach. This would provide future settlers with more water, but more importantly, it would generate cans of purified water over time, which could be drank or sold to merchants for profit. To get a water purifier up and running, we'd also have to supply it with electricity. So we headed to Diamond City on a junk shopping trip. Neighbors are awful quiet today. Someone there. Never mind. Okay, no, no, they're not quiet today at all. Upstairs neighbor vibes from these super mutants. We bought all the relevant materials available, which was way too much weight for Joe's frail body to handle, so we slowly limped back to Hangman's Alley to transport it in two parts. Okay, his back's turned. Oh shit, that one isn't. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, they're not chill, they're not chill, they're not chill. Uh, I might have to shoot them. I'm calling the police! Stay back! Self-defense! <laughs> I know my rights! Once we transported it all, we realized that we didn't buy enough to build anything, so we had to go back for seconds. I might shoot our neighbors. I don't know how hard it would be. I would be really happy to not have these guys around, though. Oh my... Oh shit. Okay, I tried to take the shot. I missed. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I kinda wanna see that. Okay, they don't have a Suicider anymore. The Super Mutant Primus? Jesus Christ! Wait, never mind. I'm not- I'm not gonna mess with those guys. Wonder if he plays bass. Where's the scrap at? Oh, this f***ing guy? No. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, Yafim. Ten caps. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Cannot sleep while taking radiation damage. Oh. Don't come in here. I'm bathing. So let me, uh, drop the soap real quick. Joe, being the dirty little freak he is, begins to take radiation damage if he goes too long without bathing, so he always keeps a bar of soap on hand. Wish Miko had opposable thumbs so he could reach my back. Can never quite get the right scrub back there. Always love the part where Joe bends over and picks up the soap. Joe doesn't bend over to pick up the soap, he squats down, keeps his back perpendicular to the floor. Drinks on me. What? Who's talking to me? <laughs> sure. I've always got a minute for a free <laughs> drink. What? What? I'm busy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were busy, sir. I didn't mean to interrupt. I still got a question for you. Hey. I'm in town looking for Henry Cook. Do you know where I might find him? Henry Cook? Oh, Henry Cook. Uh. Well, why are you looking for him? Fair question. He's my father. Oh, he's the- he's your father? Uh, yeah, I haven't- <laughs> I haven't- I haven't seen him. <laughs> if you say so, I'll probably see you around town. Bye. Uh, that's not ominous at all. Once we were done being threatened, we bought the remaining materials and took the long way home to avoid the neighbors. Evening, officer. Did you know that there's super mutants of- Oh, he- Oh, he's just doing drugs. Never mind. I'm not going to bother reporting a crime to him. <laughs> Diamond City really needs a police reform. <laughs> Maybe he has asthma. Okay, it was an inhaler. Oh, this guy's patrolling. I have one dude to handle, like, two halves of the... Nico? Did you just throw up? What was that noise? With the rest of our supplies, we headed back home to begin construction. Hey, General. Hello. I just want to trade a few things. No, I don't. Why am I saying things like that? What? Why are you walking towards me? Do you, do you need Let's something? Let's trade some things. I don't want to trade things. Hello? Hey. We could really use your help. Oh. Just tell me what you need. Something nasty is living just around the corner from here. Oh, you mean Liberty Prime? Yeah, I know. That's that's why I moved in here. Well, 
I'll see what I can do. Oh, thanks. Okay, where is... Where is that? What? This is across the country. Something nasty's living just around the corner? That is not just around the corner. By the way, my water heater exploded last night while editing this video, so make sure to subscribe to fix my hot water. Also sub to the VOD channel. I haven't posted there in two weeks, but I will this week. Thanks. Now back to Shark Tale. Oh, that's fun. I want to put this inside the house so that all the fumes can collect inside. Don't you think this gives a lovely atmosphere to their little home? I'm gonna make it some big changes around here. You guys are gonna love it. We set up a radio beacon to attract more settlers to our paradise and place the water purifier down on the beach, away from Liberty Prime. Unfortunately, because I put the generator in their house and I refused to move it, we needed to get more copper for electricity poles to turn it on. So, we headed just around the corner, across the map to Sanctuary, so we could help out our settlers that felt threatened and search for more copper on the way. We also wanted to find Preston Gravy, whom we haven't seen since we left him at Raider Basketball League. Any of you seen Preston around here? Oh, we could just get rubber right here. Oh, wait, Preston! Excuse me. Got a strange message from a robot. Strange message from a robot? You're communicating with robots, Preston? With Preston in tow and some new potential robot intel, we made our way to Sunshine Tidings. The Raiders here? Uh, it's just a chill little, little spot. Perfect for a cigarette. <laughs> you like the smoke spot, Preston? We should get out of here as soon as we can. Oh. Don't be that dramatic, Preston. Come on, live a little. Okay, Preston hates it. We'll take our bath. Oh no, I left my soap at home. Upon reviewing the footage, it turns out I turned the soap into a water purifier as oil. Regardless, that meant that Joe was now suddenly on a timer with his unclean life slowly draining away. That's okay, we'll, we'll get by without the soap. Who needs soap anyways? Legendary super mutant brute. Okay, um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm out of ammo. All we have is a laser musket. Preston? Did, did you just kill him, Preston? We got an assault rifle for 5.56 ammo and a legendary metal right leg that gave 10% increased movement speed. Oh my god. I found the filthy creature. Old Rust Bucket never saw it coming. Oh god, he's- he's zooming! Miko, stop him! Rest in pieces. <laughs> Tin can. Is that it? It was just the- it was just the one guy? Okay, there's more enemies around. I'm getting a- I'm getting a strong ghoul vibe from the dead ghoul laying on the ground. Milk, you should make a freestyle rap YouTube channel. Well, what makes you think I should do a freestyle rap? What makes you think I can? Best I could do is like a, uh... A children's lullaby. Hush, little baby, don't say- Wait, that's already- that, that one already exists. That's not original. Hello, little sleepy ghoul. Go to sleep so you can go to school. Your skin is pale and you smell like dirt. I want to know where you got that shirt. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I'm losing it. Anybody home? There's definitely somebody home. It's weirdly peaceful in here. I'm getting the opposite vibe, actually, Preston. Oh, this one looks like E.T. E <laughs> Jesus. Don't shoot Miko, you... Preston! What the fuck, Preston? Stop! What is he doing? Preston! You are out of control. No, no, absolutely not. You have crossed the line. Go home. Not cool, Preston. Not cool. I can only assume that my beautiful lullaby knocked Preston out, leading to him sleepwalking and sleep animal abusing. But we finished the mission without him and headed back towards home to pick up our soap. Okay, we got the workshop. We got the workshop. Wait, does that mean... Oh, this is a... Can we fast travel now? Because we just captured this place? Okay, back home. We need our soap. We need our soap. Oh, we cannot fast travel. We have to report back. It doesn't count as a- as cat- it doesn't count as our settlement until we report our success. Okay, back to Starlight Drive-In. I might have to pop another rat away. That trash can Carla? That means we're close to civilization. Ah, Carla. I'd marry you if I could. Oh, my heart- <laughs> see that? Joe's heart's racing. I'll see you later, Carla. I'm in a- I'm in a hurry. There's no time to talk. Oh, this is a real buzzer beater. I hear bugs. There's bugs behind me. 
Bugs, bugs. Go get him. Settler, your first task. I command you to fight the bug. Go get him. Oh, they grabbed a pipe wrench. Yes, kill it. <laughs> Please, yes. It's over. It's over. Okay, we can fast travel. We can fast travel. <laughs> yeah, I know. She had to grab a pipe wrench because I took all of her ammo. No! Since being dirty deals radiation damage over time, and fast traveling between settlements makes time pass, we would always die instantly upon arrival. What just happened? Shit, we're gonna have to go get cleaned off the old natural way then. Well, when you're in a... Here's a helpful wasteland tip. If you're really in a pinch, you can actually use Rataway as a uh, as a shampoo, believe it or not. Check this out. It smells a little bit chemically, but it gets the job done. My, our radiation is like not changing at all. It's fighting. Any any second now, Joe. Take really take your time with this bath. It doesn't feel like it's working. I must have bought the wrong <laughs> the wrong rat away. I was supposed to get the three in one body wash and shampoo, but I, I don't think I grabbed the right one off the shelf. Okay, well, well this complicates things a little bit. We have no soap. We have no ability to wash ourselves. I guess we're just gonna have to, like, book it on foot? I'm really not a huge fan of that. There's a rat away behind the locked door. Oh, I think you're right. I did see that. Okay. Yeah, let's hit that. Let's get inside the locked house. Grab the rat away. Then we pop a rat away and I guess start running. We need soap. We need soap or we just need to get home to where our soap is. Other than our soap at home, is there anywhere we can get soap? Will Rataway affect fast travel? Actually, that's a good question. Let's do a little experiment. We'll pop a Rataway and fast travel. And if that doesn't work, then I guess we're running. Yeah, we can hit Drumlin Diner on the way. Talk to Trash Can Carla and talk to Drumlin Diner. See if they have soap. All right. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. It's not litter. Okay, well, it is littering, but nobody cares. Look at this forest. No wonder it's a wasteland. Everyone thinks that way. That's true. You know what? I'm contributing. Oh, I'm a part of the problem. There'd be green trees everywhere if we just stopped throwing cigarette butts on the ground. I'm pretty sure that's what killed all the wildlife out here. Definitely not the nuclear bombs or anything. Trash can Carla, my beloved, please tell me you have soap. Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Oh, my heart started beating faster again. Joe, calm down. It's just a soap transaction. Come on. Come on. No, no soap. Actually, I don't know why I thought Trash Can Carla would have soap. I mean, look at her. I mean, not like in a mean way. I'm just saying. Easy there, scammer. Whoa. This doesn't involve you. Hey, this doesn't involve you. I'm trying to buy soap. We're closed. We're closed? You can't be closed. Anything I can do to help? Why? You for hire? I have a hundred caps if you blow Wolf A hundred caps head off. to blow his head off. I'll get rid of it. Thank you. Nobody gets between me and my soap. Oh shit, I thought I was gonna get the element of surprise. I was gonna walk up and shoot him in the head. Okay, well that was easy. Get up! I, I need to buy soap. Okay, fingers crossed, I'm scrolling. There's no soap. Okay, I'm popping a rat away. There's, there's no way around it. Oh god, I forgot about the bug. Okay, so rat X and the rat away is still cooking and I'm gonna stim pack too. Now everything's cooking, fast travel. Please do not kill me. My fingers are crossed right now. It worked, it worked, it worked. Finally, we were reunited with our soap. Wait, where's the soap? Just kidding, I turned it into a water purifier on accident. There's no, there's no soap in here. Oh my god, wait a minute. This might be worse than I realized. <laughs> well, okay. I cleared that place out for you. Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? To nice now. to have some good news around here. For yeah, me. really good news. You're welcome. It cost me dearly. I can't sleep while I'm taking radiation damage. Shit. Okay, well, I guess I could try taking a bath again. Maybe one of our settlers has soap. Did you take my soap? Yeah, let me see your pockets. Turn out your pockets for me right now. Okay, no. You smell a little... You smell good, settler. You got you got a bar of soap you might be holding on to? I'm not even allowed to talk to this guy. What? Okay, he's above my... He's above my authority. I can't even speak with him. Can you craft soap? I don't know. Maybe. At a chem station? I don't know. I wasn't ready for this. I, I didn't think we were going to run out of soap. Mines? No. If we can craft soap, it's not at a... It's not at a chem bench. 
Let me try taking a bath again. Maybe this time it'll work. Just like fingers crossed. Yeah, he's not taking a bath anymore. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think the like I think the mod broke. This is terrible. Dunk our head under, maybe. Really get in here. You feel like taking a bath yet, Joe? Hmm. Oh my god, wait, he's doing it. He's taking a bath. Oh, you were right. You gotta get your hair wet. Oh god, it's down to the wire. We did it, we did it. That's bath. That's a bath. Holy shit, I, I should have known. You gotta submerge yourself in the water to take a bath. After the most stressful bath time of his life, Joe found himself in need of some new soap. We received some intel from Chad of a large soap deposit in the Charlestown laundromat, an unmarked location near Bunker Hill. But first, we had to mend his mangled, malnourished meat mech. I think we should go to the doctor in Diamond City. <laughs> oh my god, we're so hungry. How are we so hungry? I just ate- I just ate three steaks. Four steaks and we're still hungry? <laughs> what is your metabolism rate, Joe? How is that possible? Wait, tapeworms? Wait, please tell me we don't have tapeworms. I think that's a thing. Oh my god, it is. We have a fucking tapeworm. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh my god, I just fed it four steaks. That thing's gonna be the size of my colon. Sleep? We definitely need to go to the doctor now. What should we call the tapeworm? Guys, do not name the tapeworm. The tapeworm is not a fun character. It's not a pet. The tapeworm, I'm going to the doctor and to get it removed and killed right now. Gut meat. Okay, wait. Gut meat is a pretty good name for a tapeworm. Guys, I'd like to introduce to you the new member of the Joe Joman team. Gut meat, the tapeworm. <laughs> Gut meat is my favorite character from the Joe verse. You're in for a terrible surprise here in a second, then. <laughs> I'm really sorry to hear that. All you, all you gut meat stands are about to be absolutely gutted. Gut meat fans, close your eyes. Something bad is about to happen to gut meat. After the violent, gruesome, and tragic death of fan favorite character gut meat. We stopped by the mayor's office because we heard he had soap. Um, mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. No, I'm not actually- I'm not- Synths? What was that about synths? Oh, no. Synths? I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. Whatever. Where's the soap? I know you're squeaky clean, Mayor McDunham. Oh my god, there it is. Ah, I'll be taking that. Next, we made our way to the sanitation mecca, Charlestown Laundry. Should be somewhere around here. Is that it? I think that's it. That's it right there. The white door. That's a real door. You can tell. It's not one of these fake doors. It's a real door. Charlestown Laundry. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Permanently unlock a new unique hairstyle. The hornet's nest. See what the buzz is all about. This is where the- this is the soap room. They keep it locked up, because they know the- me, expert soap goblin, is about to gobble it all up. Okay, there's, um, there's irradiated barrels. <gasps> the soap! The soap box! <laughs> yes! The mother load! I'm not even gonna bother with the safe, I don't care. We got the real treasure. With enough soap to clean even Joe, we decided to go check out that robot lead at Grey Garden Preston gave us. But, on the way we encountered a single iBot, who drained most of our ammo and took several minutes to take down. Get out of my house! Ugh. Between that fight and watching the robots destroy a grizzly bear, we decided we'd come back for Grey Garden later. We got most of the copper we needed from the iBot fight, so we settled for robbing them, and stopped at Diamond City one more time to finish off our grocery list. You there. Oh. We need to talk. Oh shit. Is there a problem? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son Nelson. Oh is god, there's true? another person looking for us because we killed one of their relatives. You got the wrong guy, bro. I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. I've known Morosky a long time. Shit. And he wouldn't lie about this. And you're gonna pay for what you did. I promise. On my son's grave. Uh. Okay. Well, that's the second time today we've been threatened <laughs> by the relative of somebody we killed inside Diamond City. The streets are starting to get more and more dangerous around this part, around this town. We we officially have ops in Diamond City. He's he's nothing but talk. He knows where I live. He can pull up if he wants the smoke. Oh shit! Who's shooting at me? Oh god, there's raiders! 
Oh god, the Raiders are pulling up. Surprisingly, Diamond City PD actually did their job, and we were able to go home and hook up our water purifier without issue. And now we have a water purifier too. Yeah, all the copper gathering was just because we put it in the house, and I don't want to move it. And look at that, it paid off. At last, Joe had clean skin, clean water, clean intestines, and there was one more thing we cleaned up at Diamond City. 